Welcome to Ask the Expert with noted radio host Steve Sleeper. Each week, Steve interviews entrepreneurs and professionals and shares their intriguing stories of success and service. Now, here's radio veteran Steve Sleeper. And welcome to another edition of Ask the Expert. Uh, today, we're speaking with Laura Hurd from the L.D. Hurd Law Firm in San Antonio. Uh, Laura is a family law attorney. Laura, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Oh, that's good, that's good. Well, I appreciate your being on uh, Ask the Expert. Tell me a little bit about yourself and, and your firm. Well, I've been licensed since 1987. Um, I graduated in the top 8% of my law school class, and um, I've worked as a briefing attorney, um, helping the judges on the Fourth Court of Appeals write their opinions, and I've published a number of uh, legal articles in the legal journals, and I've been doing family law since 1992, and uh, started my own firm then. And um, I'm a sole practitioner. It's, uh, I'm the only attorney in the firm. I have um, three employees that work for me. Laura, thanks for telling me your credentials. That that tells me you're a good attorney. Tell me about the importance of, of having a good attorney and what should I look for in a family lawyer? Well, I think it's really important to have that um, initial consultation. You sit down and talk to the person that you're thinking about hiring and make sure that um, it's somebody that you feel comfortable talking with. It's it's almost like hiring a counselor um, in terms of you're going to end up sharing a lot of embarrassing things with this person before it's over with. So you want it to be somebody you trust, somebody who listens, somebody who has the time to talk to you, and not someone that makes you feel so rushed that you feel like you didn't really get to tell them your whole story. Um, and then, of course, somebody who's experienced and knows the law and um, family law is one of the areas that changes really quickly. Every two years, the legislature completely uh, makes uh, a lot of change in the family law um, statutes. And so you want somebody who's um, knowledgeable and who's going to be helping you with um, dividing your property, um, setting up custody for your kids, visitation, child support, and that um can be something that um, affects you for many years to come. So you want somebody who really is going to pay attention to your case and not just try to get through the case as quickly as possible. What should I consider with my emotions and priorities? Well, um, in terms of the um, lawyer that you choose, you want to make sure that that lawyer um, really takes the time to listen and doesn't get distracted when you start telling them about um, the things that matter most to you and they cut you off and say I'm busy you know we'll talk about this another time then you know that that person really is too busy to take your case yeah exactly and you know as far as some of the priorities sometimes um, the folks that the, that that you're representing, they need to take a stand, right? I mean, they they need to say, "I'm not going to go there. That's not right. Uh, I I need to do what's correct." And the kids always come first and foremost. Exactly, and um, you know that's that's something that you really have to um, watch out for is the situation where one person is just using the kids as a, a means to an end and you have to look for what is really best for the children. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, in Texas, do you ever go to mediation in a divorce situation? Oh, sure, all the time. If um, In Texas, we still have jury trials over custody situations, and if there's going to be a jury trial, we're required to go to mediation before we pick a jury. And in a lot of other cases, we do mediation as well, and um, it's it's a really useful tool if you get a good mediator. But again, you need an attorney who knows which mediators to choose, and not someone who's just you know picking a mediator uh, you know at random, because there are good mediators and good and bad mediators, just like there's good attorneys and bad attorneys. And and what's the most common question you get from somebody that, that comes in to retain you? 
usually how long is it going to take? Um, in Texas, from the moment we file, there's a 60-day waiting period so that you cannot get your final order entered in less than 60 days unless there's um, domestic violence and extenuating circumstances. But um, it's very rare to get it done in less than 60 days because of other notice requirements that you know, you have to have the person served unless they file a waiver. Um, and so unless both sides are really highly cooperative um, because of the various notice deadlines, it's going to take at least a little longer than 60 days, usually more on average, I'd say six months to a year, depending on how much the parties are going to argue with each other. And as far as custody, are you seeing joint custody? Is it mom that always ends up with custody? Uh, what can you tell me about that? Well, our laws are really gender neutral, and um, the judges, especially in San Antonio, really try hard to not prefer mom over dad. Um, you know, they listen carefully as to who has really been the primary caretaker. Um, and um, so... You know, we, we do joint custody as a rule. They have to actually find a reason not to do joint custody. If they don't want to do joint custody, the judges have to have a good reason not to. Um, but as far as whether mom or dad ends up primary, that becomes a question of proving, you know, who's the one that generally bathes the children, you know, picks out their clothes, brushes their hair, makes sure that they're eating and getting to school on time. Yeah, exactly. And I, and, and I think, you know, I, I asked the question about priorities, but it's, it would have to be don't, you know, I mean, keep the kids number one and, and don't get stuck on stuff, stuff that uh, really doesn't make a difference. And, and, and you probably see that sometimes uh, couples will get stuck on who, who gets what dog or the, the barbecue grill or something like that. What, what, how do you consult with them in that kind of situation? Well, I've actually done um, custody battles over a dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. We, we set up a neutral exchange site and, and did visitation and child support for the dog. Um, so, you know, it's it's a matter of what's important to, you know, the person, what, what um, they have um, that really matters the most to them. And, you know, that's another reason that you really need to have an attorney that listens to what's important to you because some people could care less about who gets the dog and some people that's very, very important to them. Um, and if someone is fighting over, um, you know, something like a can opener, which is one of my cases, they had um, a big dispute over who got the can opener, you had to really sit down and say, look, you're going to pay for this much more than what it's worth. By the time we get through arguing, you might be better off just going and buying yourself a new one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And and that's a better example than the dog because as somebody that's got a couple of dogs, they're members of the family. They're not our kids, but they are members of the family, whereas the can opener is a, is a, is a, is a good example. Um, is is alimony a, a big issue anymore? In Texas, we are the last of the 50 states to get alimony, and um, the judges are still very reluctant to award it. Um, they they only go to it as a last resort here. So for the most part, um, it's all about how you divide the community property, um, hoping to um, get more than 50% of the community property um, as opposed to getting alimony after the divorce. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, family law in divorce, is is that 100% of your law firm, what you do? Well, my definition of family law is a little bit broader in that I include um, things like um, DWIs and assault cases, um, which... Um, are often part of the divorce. <laughs> you know, when people are under stress and they're upset, then they tend to drink more, and then all of a sudden they've got a DWI case that they have to deal with along with the divorce. Um, and also, of course, um, estate planning. Um, once you get divorced, you need a new will, um, and I do a lot of wills and probate. 
Um, and I've had cases where in the middle of the divorce, um, the other side unexpectedly died. And so we end up changing that from a divorce case to a probate case. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it, well, it, and this brings up other things that you should be looking for in a family law attorney because there's so many extra circumstances like um, um, substance abuse, um, um, you know, uh, you have to defend people for DUI, uh, that type of thing. Is 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 there such a, such a thing as an amiable divorce? Oh yes. Okay. Um, I do have uh, times where the couples come in and they've um, worked out all their differences, and they just really need to make sure that the paperwork reflects what they think um, that their agreement is, because. You may have one understanding of the agreement and somebody else has a different understanding of the agreement or you're pretty sure that y'all are on the same page, but if it doesn't get written up correctly, five years down the road, one of you gets remarried and all of a sudden they're going by exactly what do those words on that paper say and not what did we really intend when we wrote it down. So you want to make sure that your divorce decree actually reflects what you really agreed to. Yeah, absolutely. And and I'm looking at your website right now, and and uh, you know, we're, it says wills, trust, and powers of attorney, and and we talked a little bit about that. Uh, but uh, w- w- you know, w- w- what else should I know about that? Well, um, as people get older, a lot of times they. Um, get in a situation where they are um, uh, have dementia or Alzheimer's and they need um, a guardian. Um, and so with the power of attorney, we have avoid guardianship a lot of times. And uh, guardianship is very expensive and time-consuming. And so the power of attorney is a way of helping your family to cope with uh, taking care of you in a less expensive and traumatic way. And of course, with the will, um, you can really save your family a lot of time and grief and money if you have a properly written will. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is is there anything else I should know about uh, your law firm, the L.D. Heard Law Firm? Just that, um, you know, we grew up here in San Antonio and uh, in this area. We're here to stay, and um, we know the area. We know the judges. um, We know what um, the customs are in this um, local area. And also, um, we really emphasize in this law firm that we're here to help people. We care about people. Um, We're not just here to get through as many cases as possible in a day, but we really want to make a difference in people's lives. It's about it, it's about service, isn't it? Right. Yeah. yeah. And you know, if if um, the couple decides in the middle of the divorce they want to reconcile, you know, I'm not going to stand in the way and say, no, I'll make more money if you get divorced. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm here to help you as a person, not just to make money. Yeah, exactly, and that and you know, and that's what I found uh, w- with every family law attorney I've ever spoken to. It's about you know taking care of the client and 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 being of service, uh, and it, it's also important to know that uh, you know San Antonio, you know the judges, you 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 know what's going on, and it's important to deal with with a local attorney. H- how do I get in touch with you, Laura? Well, um, you can contact me through my website, which is www.ldherd.com. Um, there's a contact me page, or you can always call 210-655-9090. And uh, again, the website, ldherd.com, and that, that's always good to know. And our guest today has been Laura Hurd from the Hurd Law Firm in San Antonio. Laura, thanks very much for being on Ask the Expert. Well, thank you for having me. Thanks for listening to Ask the Expert with Steve Sleeper. Join us next time as entrepreneurs and professionals share their intriguing stories of success and service.